internet people, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely day, uh, full of happy things and butterflies and chocolate and and what else is good? Star Wars. Um, uh, the smell of uh, rain on a summer's day. Um, uh, the sound of rain on a metal roof. Um, a nice egg. <laughs> and all of that sort of thing. Oh, bears! Ninja, I forgot to have the bear with me! Hang on! I have the bear. He's wearing a different scarf today. <laughs> Hang on, let's get that. There we go. Come on. Yes. Today, his name is Tom Baker. Right. You can sit there. There we go. <laughs> Um, yes, so, uh, for those of you who saw on Twitter, yesterday I went to do Doctor Who Time Fracture in London with my brother, and it was so cool, and I loved it very much, so I'm in Doctor Who mode at the moment. When am I ever not in Doctor Who mode? But I mean, extra Doctor Who mode at the moment, because, um, yeah, because did that. It was really cool, it's such a shame it's ending, they're only, they're only running it for, like, the next seven days, I think, and then it's ending, or at least it's ending in London. I think they might be restarting it somewhere else. But, um, but it was really cool, and I had a lot of fun, and it was quite silly, but I met a Dalek, and a Cyberman, well, I was chased, I was chased by, oh, I couldn't, shouldn't spoil things, actually, shouldn't spoil things, but I was chased by scary things, and, and, and I saved the day, and it was awesome, and I got to stand in front of the TARDIS, which was very cool. So, okay, right, anyway, yes, so, today, shout out from Czech to Bears, yes, general shout out to Bears, very good, very good, very good. Welcome everyone, we are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! today, we are playing Master Duel for Multiplayer Monday, as ever, anyone who wants to play against me is welcome, on the condition that you are using a fun deck. I don't want any of this one turn kill drawing every card in your deck to summon Exodia on turn one nonsense. Like, you know what I mean when I say fun deck. Just something that's vaguely enjoyable and doesn't involve me just sitting here twiddling my thumbs for half an hour while you win. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, slightly old school style, I guess. Uh, that's what we generally go for. But right, I'm gonna get the game fired up. We're gonna play, it's gonna be very cool. Does that sound fun to you? It's not fun to me, real Lonnie, because you might as well not have an opponent there. It's just a, it's just solitaire. That's all that is. Oh, that's cool, Ninja. Why are there three parts? Okay, uh, that's plugged in. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, you can. So, uh, some of you may know my graphics card makes a lot of noise. I want. I haven't got my stream light on. My graphics card makes a lot of noise. The fans tend to whir quite loudly sometimes. I've determined that they were louder than they should. It gets hotter than it should. I think, according to internet research, that the thermal paste might need replacing. Um, it might have never been good. I think it might have been incorrectly applied thermal paste when I first got the graphics card. Um, so, but I don't know. But, uh, I, I think it needs doing, but anyway, I'm experimenting today, oh, because I haven't actually done the thermal paste or anything, I haven't changed anything, but I am experimenting with a different fan curve today, um, slowing my graphics card down a bit, because it doesn't need to be running at full, full blast for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, really. Um, so we're gonna see, but if anything goes weird, if the stream visually becomes weirdly low frame rate or anything, do let me know, um, and we can change the settings back to what they were. But I'm hopeful that this should improve it. Do... Yes, you did PM me, Nuna. I need to reply to you. Sorry, obviously I was at home doing Doctor Who things and I've been quite busy and stuff. So, um, but yes, I, we, I will totally get around to replying to that and sort some stuff out. 
Um, Armature is inviting me to a duel. No, it's not dust. I've cleaned it out very thoroughly. It's always had a problem with overheating. Anyway, here's the room. The uh, the details for the room are as such. If you'd like to join, it's uh, three six seven zero nine seven. It's the room ID. Um, and yeah, right. Okay, uh, but I'm going to do it against Armata first. Armata, what deck are we playing with today? Are you going for your Venom on a no peeking at my screen, obviously, if I'm dueling against you. Um, what shall I go with? I don't have that many decks that work very well. But um, I'm going to go for this rubbish one again, because it's kind of fun. It's not very good, but it's fun. And I think it might stand a chance against Venom. In any case, I'd quite like to see Armata's Venom deck in action. I'd like to see it... Uh, taking a running start. You have a Book of Moon as your avatar mascot thing. That's quite cool. But it doesn't move. Is it just the book? Does it have any animations? Or is it, is it just the book? Oh, the page turns. Oh, we can open the book. Flicky flick. That's literally all it does. <laughs> right, okay. Um, anyway, it's, it's, it's Armata's turn. Armata, you do your thing. Ooh, this sort of nonsense. When you control another reptile monster, if a reptile monster you control- Oh, it gives piercing damage. Okay. To all your reptiles. Lion Alligator. He's cool. I like the look of him. Look at the Lion Alligator. He's like, it's literally what it says. It's an alligator, but with a lion's mane. Oh, what a lovely Derek. Okay, what have we got? What have we got here to work with? We have got... Fusion deployment. Give me a... Blue eyes white dragon. And then uh, we'll have a Marmotin Captain. To activate his effect. To shuffle this thing back into my deck. This card, what I don't want. And we drew the same card. I put one card back in my deck. I only have one copy of this card. And I just drew it again. One in 33 chance of that happening. How upsetting. Um, preference on amount of fellow D&D players. Um, let's keep it small scale because I, in my experience of D&D &D from before, it's, uh, when we did it ages ago on the channel, it's very difficult to coordinate people's time scales. Um, you know, it's very, it's very tricky to get, uh, everyone's in different time zones and getting availability to line up is very hard. So the fewer players we have, the easier that is. You go for something like four or five? Including you, if you think that would work. Oh, dark hole, four. Whatever, whatever you feel is most appropriate, Ninja. But I'm, I'm happy to keep it smaller. Dark hole, destroy all monsters on the field. Oh, and it's got a cool animation. You just blew everything up. Right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? This deck isn't doing what it's supposed to do, because I'm not drawing the cards that I want to draw, but that's fine. Goblin attack, Foz! Attack! See, I can still hear my graphics card whirring up. We're literally just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. This should not be graphically intensive. Why is it at 77 degrees? Why? This is why I think the thermal, thermal paste needs doing. Because the fans seem to work. You know, the fans spinning and everything. 
It's not overclocked. It's just normal. We're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Should not be hitting 77 degrees. Oh, of course, your solidarity. Buffing everything. Now we get the worms happening. Very cool, very cool. So, um, fun news, uh, Colin has been editing my interview that we did last week. Oh, you've got these two dudes together, that's cool. Um, and, uh, we are hoping potentially to release that, well, later this week. Might be aiming at something like Thursday. So let one was rookie with holding controls and turn it to his hand, that's fine, you can do that. It'll be, uh, it'll be running as a premiere. Ring of Destruction! Biff! No, it doesn't need cleaning, Just Guy. Like I said, I have cleaned it very, very thoroughly. Right, we're gonna go Hobby's Feather Duster! Hello, Bob750! What did we get rid of? Offering to the Snake Deity! Cool, okay, right. Let's go! Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight! And... Goblin Attack Force! We'll make it a best of three, Armata. If you want, because I want to see your deck get into the get into its swing. Okay, we'll go again. We'll go again. Because my deck didn't get to do any of its things. I just summoned monsters and attacked you, and yours didn't get to do any of its things either. You did get the worm buddies out. But I feel we can both make a more exciting duel than that. Oh, by the way, thanks for subbing, uh, Mila. Very kind of you. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ah, this is more like it. This is a tastier hand. Let's see if I can actually get to play the card that I want to play. I'm going to open with Hand Destruction. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to discard a Mirror Force and a Ring of Destruction. Oh, you lost your lion alligator. Oh, big sad. Okay. Let's try this. Of oh, a fang of Critias. To summon Mirror Force Dragon. Which I think is such a cool looking card. I love the art. Look at him. He's so spiky and shiny. We're gonna try attacking, see if we get away with it. See which of these cards Armus is gonna activate. This dude! Oh! Select- is select not targeting? Oh, except during the damage step, and that was during the damage step. 
Oh, that's really disappointing. I should have thought of that. Should have thought of the fact. I should have remembered that. I was, I'd forgotten about that. Okay. So much for that. Well, was it because of the damage step? Or was it because of targeting is not the same thing as selecting? What do you think, Armata? I felt like select was the same word as target. As far as Yu-Gi-Oh was concerned. Oh, I didn't realize they had notes on how they were destroyed. Both. All right. Oh, no, we in trouble now. This will work. This might not work. Oh. That's a shame. Oh, it's got a cool animation! I didn't know whether that would work. I wonder if it would have worked. If I destroyed your card before your guy's effect could have resolved, would it have actually been able to summon? Or because it had already activated, would it have still gone ahead? I don't know. I'm not, I don't know enough about how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Okay. I'm going to go right Eki. That's all I got. It would have stopped Jägen. Ah, oh, cool. Good to know. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got a card I can't play. Cool beans. Your go. Oh, you do have more worms. It's not just those two. He looks pretty cool. Pretty intimidating. Oh, boy. I'm running the maths. And it ain't looking good. Worm King. Viper's Rebirth. If all monsters in your graveyard are Reptile, you get to special summon one non-tuner but destroy it during the end phase of this turn. Why is that good these days? Aren't you better with Monster Reborn or... Oh well, anyway. Oof. Get wrecked. Well played, Armitage. You still didn't, um... Uh, get to play Venom on though. Right, we'll have our deciding duel. We will conclude our match. So, after Doctor Who yesterday, I went home, got to see Grey, which was very nice, and um, and I got to collect a Sunday roast, which mum had some leftover Sunday roast on a plate, which I got to bring back with me, so I have a plate of Sunday roast to have for dinner tonight. Nothing like a home-cooked Sunday roast. Makes me very happy. Oh, so it getting destroyed makes it come back. Oh, okay, it makes you get the Rise of the Snake Deity and Summon the Goddess. Very cool. Okay. Yes, Grey is feeling much better. She's still stuck inside, so she's still a bit miserable about that. But um, it's healed right up. 
she was had a lot of energy, she was playing and everything. She seemed like completely normal sort of in herself when I went to see her, which was really nice. Um, she was just, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit sad. Uh, no, not a bit sad, sorry, she was just, uh, well, yeah, a bit sad to be stuck inside. That was it, but, but yeah, otherwise she's doing really well. Right, what do we got? What do we got? I'm going to try this combo and see what happens. We're going to go, uh, oh, the Fang of Critias to summon Destruction Dragon. Then we're going to use Destruction Dragon's effect to destroy this card. Bam, very good. Then we're going to go Raigeki. Then we're going to go The Claw of Hormos. Sorry, I don't know what that was. The Claw, the Claw, the Claw. No, I can't do the Brooklyn accent. I can't make it happen. Anyway, Claw of Hermos. Sending Legendary Knight Hermos to the graveyard to summon Goddess Bow, which I will immediately equip to my Destruction Dragon. And then we're going to go ahead and attack. Ha! Goddess Bow effect activates, destroying your mirror force and allowing me to attack for a second time. You fell into my trap. Is your name Chewbacca? Because you made a Wookiee error. Hey! Trash talk. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My name is definitely not Giuseppe, but hello, Yato Hano. Welcome to the stream. Question check. Thing is, Destruction Dragon only has 2,000 attack points, so you can kill him quite easily. Which is a bit concerning. But I'm hoping I can keep blowing up your stuff. Okay, we're gonna go Destruction Dragon. We're gonna blow up this one. Wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Fusion deployment! Oh no! I picked the wrong one. Never mind, doesn't matter. This will do. Blue Eyes White Dragon! We're gonna go for it. We're gonna do it. Blue eyes, destroy! Yes! Good game, Armitur. A good match. Well played. I got lucky with my um, dragon cards. That was fun. Thank you for playing with me. Who shall we play next? Arbitrarily, um, we're looking second in the list. We've got Lonnie. So I might go ahead and duel against Lonnie. We're going to pick a different deck. Lonnie, please don't look at my screen. Um, you know, like minimize the stream or move it over to one side or something so that you can't see what I have in my hand as we duel. But we will duel now. I hope you have a fun deck. Um, we're going to go with this one. Ooh, what is that? What kind what color badge is that that you have there, Lonnie? That's not platinum. Is that further than platinum? Is there is there a higher level than platinum these days? Okay, I'm going to go card advance. Diamond. So if you complete platinum, you get diamond now. Gosh, I think I am out of my depth here. We're gonna go with this. Brotherhood is a great book, Ego Cat. 
I really enjoyed it. It was nice prep for Kenobi. Okay. I'm sensing that this is not, in fact, a fun deck. Having done the fun decks only thing. Oh, no, it's zombies. Oh, that's good. I'll go with zombies. I'll allow that. I'll allow zombies. I thought this was going to be something where you were going to do a, like, DD dynamite kind of blam thing. But no, okay. Zombies, I will allow. Zombies are very cool. I used to run a zombie deck in real life. Back in the day. Though it wasn't as good as this. None of these were cards back then. Zombie World existed. It was a Zombie World deck. Very heavily based on the official Zombie World deck. With a few extras. It was the first time I'd bought cards on eBay. I bought some specific cards I wanted. Um, do I read or listen to books? Both. So if I can get the audio of a book, then I will listen to that at the same time as um, reading it. So I'll read and... Um, yeah, uh, I'll read read along uh, when I have time to read, and then when I'm walking along or um, washing up or something, I will listen, and then that lets me get through the book faster. Because I love how Audible connects up when I'm- What is this?! Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon! That's so cool! I love it! Oh, and a, and a, and a 10,000 attack points King of the Skull Servants. Blimey O'Reilly. I see why you have the diamond rank, Lonnie. Very well played. Right. Let's go again. Let's make it a best of three. I'm going to try. But I'm going to take the gloves off for this one. We're going to go with this. Which still, I think, will get totally wrecked by whatever you have, by your zombie deck. But, um, might, might stand a slightly better chance. The Egyptian God deck, which is what that was. I know I only got to play one card, which I had face down, but it was an Egyptian God deck. That was not the one we wanted. That was not the way to success. Whereas, I also think this one you will similarly wreck. But it does at least stand a slightly more of a chance? Okay, we've tanked. We have a terrible starting hand. This is not good. But we're going to roll with it. See if we can survive a turn. Yes, that's true. That's true, Nuna. Um, Kindle Unlimited can be great. It's very hit and miss, I find, Kindle Unlimited. In that it can, it can be really good. Um, or, uh, you know, if, if there are books you specifically know you want to read that are on Kindle Unlimited, then it's really good value. But a lot of the time, then, there aren't anything, there isn't anything that I want to read from it and I end up just accidentally paying for it for a few months and not using it at all. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, we've got a Jet Synchron. Maxi! Great, another card I can't play. But it could be useful if I survive the turn. I'm highly doubtful that I'm going to survive the turn. For I feel Lonnie's deck is very... Very one turn killy, summon everything, considering we had a 10,000 attack point King of the Skull Servants last time. 
but we'll see what we can do. And it's quite cool to see how a modern zombie deck works. Kind of creepy. Oh, uh, I, I really don't like this card. I don't like cards that fit in any deck. You know, like like these that I've put in there for competitive value because you kind of have to. But I don't like them. I don't think... I, I like how you have, like, thematic decks and how I loved that in the anime. Um, when everything would be nicely themed. And, like, this does not fit with the theme at all. Neither does that. And Chris... Chris don't have a creepy frack. How do you frack? Again, it's it doesn't it doesn't fit with any kind of theme. It doesn't it doesn't fit with the whole zombie thing. And that makes me sad. Anyway, the way Lonnie has committed completely to uh, letting me draw loads of cards from Max C implies that Lonnie is absolutely expecting to win this turn. And therefore, if this were an online competitive match, then uh, I would surrender at this point. However, I'm keen to see how the rest of this plays out. Ooh, we appear to have survived the battle phase. No way, we survived to the next turn. Oh, smashing, maybe we can actually do something. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's go with a pot of extravagance to start with. Ooh, ooh, things be going on. Okay, right. So that lets you, okay, that isn't gonna do anything at the moment. Is this gonna do anything? You can special summon this card in defense position. Okay, that could be problematic. We're going to go Tomb Bookmark. Is there an audiobook version of Lonely Worlds? Why not? Why not is I haven't had time to do it. But I would like there to be. I'd like to record one someday. We're going to go Tomb Kingdom. We're going to go... Tomb Table of Contents. We're going to get a Tomb Page Flip. We're going to go with these three. Pick a card, any card. Any, any, any card. Cool, we got this one. This works. Fine. We're going to use Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Hopefully. What happens? Oh, hang on, hang on. Once per turn when a zombie... Oh, I did it in the wrong order. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, it's okay. We can do this. We can do this. It's good. It's good. That works for me. Because now we can activate Toon Harpy Lady's effect. Summon Toon Harpy Lady. Just draw a card. We're going to get rid of Zombie World. Good. Good. Still going okay. Right. What now? What was the next plan? Um, The next plan was bear with it bear with it we're gonna go tune table of contents again we're gonna have mm, we're gonna get another one of these in case we need it ne need it next turn we can't play it this turn we're going to go Comic Hand. Give me this thing. We're going to put these two face down. We're going to go Battle Phase. Going to attack with this. Uh, no, we're not going to attack our opponent directly. We're going to destroy this thing. And then... We're going to tribute you and you. 
in order to summon you. Then we're going to activate your effect to send you to the graveyard in order to special summon you in attack mode. Okay, and that, I think, is me done. What do you got? Anyway, yes, Grandma Shirley does have a delightful series on YouTube reading Lonely Worlds. Um, oh, because I have a... Oh, I forgot about that. You can special summon that if a face-up card in a field zone. I was thinking it had to be yours. Okay, I'm going to say you can't have that. I'm going to go Toon Terror. And negate that. But yes, she does. She has a lovely uh, reading of Lonely Worlds. Obviously, I don't get anything uh, for that. So if you wanted to support um, my writing or anything, please do buy a copy as well if you're going to listen to that. I'd, appre or I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, obviously, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I would it would be very nice for you to, um, to do something like that. But I will do an official audiobook at some point. Anyway, yes, I do play Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Lord of all frogs. Lovely to see you. We have a King of the Skull Servants. And we have this thing. Why doesn't that have any attack points? Did you did you remove from play all your Skull Servants? I wasn't paying attention there to what happened. Ooh, one of these things. You're doing a super polymerization. Are you going to fuse my monsters together? That's very rude. I wanted those. What are you having? Oh, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. That's a lot of attack points. Magic Cylinder. Biff. I won one! Yay! I'm so chuffed with myself! Oh, thanks for the plug, Nuna! Okay, okay, we've got to go for the decider, Lonnie. I think you'll probably thrash me this time. No, 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 Lonnie, it's, it's not tunes that are strong. It's actually my superior dueling ability. It's absolutely not that the cards are quite easy to play and it's quite good at negating things and controlling. No, it's all, it's all down to the heart of the cards being with me, you know, my superior skill. He says, drawing an absolutely useless starting hand. I'll play a card face down. That's all I've got. Thank you for the bits, Cthulhuin! Anyway, thank you for the kind words, people. What have read? What have read? Lonely Worlds. I do appreciate your um, your support and everything. And if you did enjoy the book, do please leave me a review on Goodreads or Amazon or something. That would be great. Oh, thank you for plugging it, Luna. You're very kind. Um, yes, I have watched the two episodes of Kenobi. Um, obviously, this is a spoiler-free zone. They were fantastic. I was so delighted. Because I, I, you always worry, right, when there's something that's so highly anticipated that it's going to be disappointing. But it was so good. It made me very happy. I have these nice chocolates that my cousin... My cousin lives in Geneva. And he brought me back these chocolates for my birthday. And they're really nice. They're, um... What is it? Uh, praline. 
kind of. But they're like the chocolate inside is like um truffle chocolate. It's very good. I would share them with you over the internet. Except, unfortunately, that's impossible. And also, they're really nice. They're mine. So you can't... <laughs> you can't have them! Right, what's Lonnie doing? Causing devastation, no doubt. Did I really like it? Yes, I did really like it. It was awesome. Like I said, I think they were awesome. Hmm. I got to draw a card! Yay! I know the thing you're thinking of, Ego Cat. I'm sure it will be fine. Don't worry. If it were comic book canon we were worried about, I'd be more concerned. But they're not going to contradict Rebels. Okay. Hmm. Shout out from Yato Hano to plus. That's the plus sign. The concept of addition is being shouted out there. I've always been a big fan of addition. Joseph actually comes from the Hebrew. For he shall add. Don't you know? So, um, you know, I can support that. Shout out to the addition. Very good. Very good stuff. Right, well, anyway, that was disappointing. Didn't get to do my thing. I could destroy that. It would just come back. I think I am in trouble. Oh, well, go on. We'll destroy him. See if it makes us last a turn longer. I'm not edgy. Yes, everything from Star Wars Celebrations. Star Wars Celebration was really cool. All the trailers and the news and the panels. I loved it all. It's great. Yes, it's true, Noon. I didn't just make it up. That's what it means. Not everything I say is just incoherent nonsense. But yes, this is a Toon deck, however, it is currently being decimated. Which means reduced by 10%. And I think it, which is possibly not the right word, because it's definitely being reduced by more than 10% at the moment. Oof. Okay, we survived another turn. That's good stuff, that's good. We like surviving another turn. No, there's no fancy bot commands. To be honest, I'm not edgy. There is more of a queue probably than we'll have time to get through today for people who'd like to play. But um, I will show you the, uh, what did I say? Did I say bots? Oh right, yeah, no, no boys, you said. <laughs> no boys are allowed, um, but no bots. That's all I got. Over to you. Do your thing, Lonnie. 
we do live in a golden age of Star Wars. It's brilliant. I love how much content's coming out. Shout out from Cthulhuin to I'm Not Edgy for quite a clever screen name. Especially read aloud. Ah, Armata's number, right, 367097 is, room, is the room code. Excellent, good. Look at all these zombie boys coming out. But can Lonnie successfully get through my Toon Harpy Lady? Answer, probably yes, but we shall see. Well, I, on the other hand, am in fact incredibly edgy. Mr. I'm not edgy. I am, people who often watch my streams know me as the edge lord. Um, I am extremely edgy. The content is, is very edgy all the time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm what's known as a bad boy. You know, I walk in darkness. Um, I walk this lonely world, the, uh, this lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but I'm the only one and I walk alone. Ah, ah, ah. Is Code Talker a fun deck? I don't know. Access Code Talker is not particularly fun. I've never seen it played as an actual archetype. Oh, I don't actually know what you did there. What did you... You did a thing? Banish one monster from the field or graveyard. Ah, oh, without targeting it. Very clever. Nicely done. Well done. Right. You got this thing. Very good. Very good. Once again, we find ourselves in a bit of a pickle. Let's see what we draw. Come on, heart of the cards. This'll do. Go on, you'll go. Yes, a very pointy beard. That's what he has, this parallel universe hospedge sussel. attack points how many attack points do you really need one thing that i find strange about king of the skull servants is its original attack changes and if its original attack points change then that's not its original attack right that's a new attack i get that that's how the game has its own distinction between original attack and just attack but like that's not what original means it's highly unoriginal. 7,000 attack points. That is a lot of attack points. No, I know. I get that there's a functional reason for it. I'm not edgy. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, musing on the concept of originality. Really? Are you going to summon another one? 9,000 attack points. I love how all these cards just turn into Skull Servant. Go on then. Do your thing. Ha ha! Wait, what happened? Yes, use the effect of Toon Kingdom! Totally in control here. Absolutely no issues with banishing all the cards in my deck. I 
and stat becomes zero. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It just it gets a dark soul token. Kind of cool. Um, right, what do we get? What do we got here? <laughs> Fabulous. That is really helpful. Good out. You'll move. So the lady, the lady of white, the lady in white is uh, very upsetting. Face up level three or lower, zombie monsters cannot be destroyed by battle, and also they are unaffected by spell slash trap cards and effects. So it doesn't only prevent them from being destroyed; they're actually unaffected, which is so cool. It's really very powerful. Especially with combined with Skull Servants. I'll be honest, I can't think of an exit strategy here. I can't think of a card that I could draw that would get me out of the situation. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep kicking for as long as I can. Oh yeah, that would work quite well. Good shout, Mistress. Potentially, assuming I haven't banished them all by now. Because we are losing a lot of cards. I say it would work quite well. It wouldn't. It would help me survive for like another turn. But it's not going to get me very far. Yes, you probably will, Lonnie. You probably will. But let's see what happens. Hey! You can deck me out even faster because I'm going to play this! We're going to burn through another 10 cards! <laughs> right, what did we get? Ooh, nothing I can use. Cool. Ah, <laughs> look at that. Card I could have used. Card I could have used. Card I could have used. Card all, all three copies. Oh no, two of them. Two of them gone. Yeah. So we only have one of those and one of those left in the deck. If I can get either of them, then we're in business. But it's statistically very unlikely. But they're not going to get banished now. Ooh. Of course, every card that does get banished that isn't one of those two increases my chances of drawing one of those two. But it's just as likely to banish one of them. Okay, so we've got a 10% chance of getting what we need. Ooh, does this help? Let's think about it. Does this actually help us? Hmm. Nope. 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 Ah, but of course what we could do is... Because I can't use that on that. Because we have to get rid of that first in order to get to do that. Because that means that would make it unaffected by it. But we can grab that. And if we grab that, then I can tribute both, summon that. It would be in attack mode. And I have not got the life points to deal with that. 
but what would I get if I could draw any card there? I could use it to get the last Black Luster Soldier, which I could use its effect to get rid of the King of the Skull Servants. But then I wouldn't have the life points to, because then you could hit me with that thing, and that would spell doom for me. If you were to do that. Because then my attack would become zero, and then you could hit me with any of your other cards, and I'd run out of life points. Is there a way through this? Such a shame about the lady in white. If only I could remove it somehow. But I can't. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't want to automatically surrender. I can't think of a way through! Oh, actually, actually, here's what we can do. This works slightly better, I think. Here's my plan. Here's my big, crazy plan. Oh, wait, what? What does that do? What does that do? Oh, of course. When a zombie monster ex Oh, no, hang on. You can banish one monster from... Oh, you banish your own card. Oh, that was very sneaky. Very sneaky. That was a clever combo. I like it. Good work. Okay. As you were, we continue where we left off. Your turn. <laughs> Look at my little Toon Gemini elves. They are all that stands between me. Wait, what did you do? Why did you get rid of your King of the Skull Servants? That had a million attack points, and now you've just got a Karibo. Oh, because you can summon another one, that's why. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, crumbs. Go on, continue the pummeling. <laughs> Bloop. Bloop. Ooh. Oh dear. That is problem. Okay, right. What do we got now? Okay. Gotta be careful with that one. It's not gonna help me quite yet. I need to time that right. Okay. Continue. It's very epic music, isn't it? Right, come on, keep attacking me. Bloop. Oh, there goes the other one of those. We needed that. That was important. Oh, that one's gone. We needed that. We needed that. We really needed that. We're losing all our opportunities here. <laughs> Ten cards left in my deck. I can't remember what I do actually have. But we have now lost all three copies of Black Luster Soldier. Come on. Useless. Okay, I think we can survive another turn. 
Maybe two more turns? What have we got? We've got nine cards left. Uh, nine, you can attack with one, two, three, four things. So, in theory, I could last one, two more turns? Ah. I would like to revise my statement. I can last zero more turns. Because you're about to hit me with super polymerization. Oh! You didn't get my Gemini Elf. I thought you would steal that. Ooh, starving, venom, killy, killy, death, death, dragon of death. Isn't this, is, is this not, this is gratuitous? <laughs> Come on. Keep whacking. Yeah. Biff. Biff. Oh, no, there goes. Right, okay. That's another opportunity gone. Another card that could have saved the day. Come on. Yeah, sure, this thing, fine, might as well. Okay, this is my last turn. So this is going to be our final draw, folks. So I might as well go ahead and activate... Oh no, because I haven't got anything left. Fine. <laughs> okay. Here's my final turn. Heart of the cards be with me. Give me something I can use. Anything I can use. Oh, we can have we can have more cards. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's 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 see what else the deck's got left in it. Okay. Right. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Can this work? Probably not. <laughs> oh, go on then. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, you're just going to go straight for it. I was kind of hoping you'd um, you'd dance around it a little bit. No, go on. No, that's fine. You can you can destroy me. Yeah, you you, you take out that one as well. It's not really what I wanted to happen. Yeah, that definitely doesn't work. Because you got that only specifically because you got that. Oh, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping you might fall into a bit more of a of a shenanigan, but that's okay. Oh, what? Why did you? Why did you not finish me? You let me have my last card. That's really sweet of you. Um. Oh, you're not going to attack. You're just going to let me. Oh. You're just going to let me draw myself to death. That's really sad. I was hoping to pull off some kind of last minute save, but obviously if you're just going to let me... Oh, oh, okay. 
You're doing a thing. You're doing a thing. Right. Wait, I didn't get to do my thing. Oh, because I haven't got the thing anymore. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, you got rid of all your cards too? <laughs> okay. Right, I have this. It won't work. But I have it. <laughs> it would have been absolutely cracking. Can you imagine if you didn't have the lady in white on the field and I'd pulled that on the last turn? How cool would that have been? But uh, but alas, I did not. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a very good game, Lonnie. Well played. I enjoyed that. So I was really hoping I could trick you into trying to negate one of my cards. Because if you'd gone for a negate, I could have activated Witch's Strike. That would have cleared your Lady in White. And then when you attacked me with the King of the Skull Servants, I could have Magic Cylindered it and still won. But, um... Alas. That did not happen. Bob! You're sitting in a room here, Bob. You've been waiting a while. Do you wanna- do you wanna play, Bob? If you're still around? Let's see what Bob has to say. If Bob's gone, then Bob's gone. But you have to be very careful with Witch's Strike, because it has to be negate activation, not just negate effect. And your Doom King negates the effect, it doesn't negate the activation. So it wouldn't have worked. I couldn't have played Witch's Strike on your Doom King. No, there's no bots, Hero Fly. Yeah, it is specific, but you know, it destroys all cards on your field and in your hand. So it has to be very specific, really, doesn't it? I think it's fair, considering, um, yeah, how powerful the effect is. Ooh, not ideal, but we can maybe work with this. Yeah, armata has got the room code. There you go, 367097. But we are on like nine people in the room, so you're probably not going to be able to join. But uh, go for it. Right. The path of victory is built on copious amounts of snakes. <laughs> I will remember that phrase. There you go, Bob. Have a max C. And obviously I'm relying on you not looking at my hand, Bob. Um, if you're gonna, you know, I can't stop you from doing that if you want to cheat, but I'd obviously, obviously prefer that you didn't. So if you could move the- Oh, Morphtronics! No way! But yeah, if you could move the, uh, you know, move your screen somehow so you can't see my hand, that'd be great. I haven't seen Morphtronics in years! Oh, I so hope this is a proper Morphtronic deck and this isn't just a fake out. I'll be so excited. Okay. B Buster Drake! Oh, when you get the things, because I did the things. Uh, oh, wait, what, 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 when you control it, what, you, oh, oh, but you don't have one of those. So, is that okay? What happens if I attack you? Is it going to... Uh, I think you might have a card with enough defense points to stop me. Let's try it. Oh, you didn't! I could have summoned the thing. Oh, but it wouldn't have mattered. Because you take no battle damage this turn. Fine. Fine. Morphtronic Lantron. He's so cool! Look at him! They're like tiny transformers. Oh, it's so adorable. I love it. Okay. Um, we're gonna go with that, and then that in defense mode. That'll do. I love the little art for the counter as well. Deformer counter. Oh, good. Uh, ooh, nasty. Double tool scene equipped to a level four high. During your turn, it gains a thousand attack. 
No, 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 no. They apply on the field and negate it during that. Oh. This is nasty. Is that new? Or newer than it used to be? I don't know. Right. Shout out from Nuna to Ninja who completed part one of Yane! Go on then, do your thing. Biff, now do I still get my effect? I do because it activates when I'm in the graveyard. Very nice, that's what we like. Okay. I would like, please, please thank you much, Lee. Um, I can't obviously attack you because you have that thing. Um, but I would like for to have one of these. Now, what does that do in my turn? Your opponent cannot select a monster other than the exact target. Okay, good. Thank you for the follow, Pyrofly. Right, we're going to try a thing. Go, A Assault Core. Why, Dragon Head? We're gonna do a link summon! Send these little chappies to the graveyard. In order to summon Union Carrier! And we are gonna activate ASL cause effect in order to give me back my white dragon head. Then we're gonna use Union Carrier's effect in order to equip my Union Carrier with. A Sea Crush Wyvern. We are now... We're going to do this. It's going to be amazing. We're going to... Are we going to attack first? No, we're not. We are going to... Remove that. Then attack... Yeah, okay. We're going to special summon... A. B. C. Dragon Buster. And activate its effect, sending my Y Dragon Head to the graveyard to destroy your Morphtronic Bind. I'm then going to activate Union Scramble to summon you. Wait. Huh? Firstly, why did I only get two? Oh, because I didn't select them both. I only selected one because I'm a fool. Oh, I messed that up right and proper. Um, I thought I, I should have selected two. I forgot it was like that. I thought I had to select them one by one. But why did it only offer me two anyway? Why couldn't I have my Buster Drake? Don't know. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Um, it's fine. So now we are going to go ahead and do some attacking with this cheeky chappy. ABC is pretty dope, isn't he, Pyrofly? I love the ABC XYZs. I love their card art. I love how they all connect together into big giant robots of awesomeness. Then main phase two, I'm going to equip my assault core back to my Dragon Buster. And we are going to end there. Okay, Bob, what you got with your Morphtronics? Your little Morphy, Morphy, Tronic things. Destroy one card on the field and draw one card. Well, to that I say, I'm going to activate ABC Dragon Buster's effect. Discard my Swords of Revealing Light. Destroy your Morphtronic map. Then I'm going to activate ABC Dragon Buster's effect again. No, apparently I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, I really messed that up. Oh, but that's okay. That's fine. That's okay, because it just destroys the assault core. That's good. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Yay! 
Yes, I do have a bear in the background. He's wearing a long scarf. He's very warm and cozy. Okay, I'll be honest. That A lot of that there was fluke. I misplayed a lot of that. But, um, it's fine. <laughs> we're, we're holding on. I think we've got this. think if I just do one of those, equip that to him. Oh, what I can actually do, if you'll just bear with me a second, I'm slightly indulgent, but I never get to, um, I never get to do this, and I'd really like to. If I could just play through this combination, Bob, if you just give me one second, it'll only take me, like, a mere moment, I just never get to play this card. And I'd really like to. So, I can summon XYZ Dragon Cannon. Like that. And then, I can combine them together to summon X, Y, A, B, C, A, uh, A B, C, A, no, A to Z. That's it. A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon. He's so big. Look at all the cannons. I got to summon him! Oh, that's made my day. Oh, good stuff. Well played, Bob. That was a fun game. I'm sorry I didn't. I feel it was slightly unbalanced against your Morphtronics because they were very cool. You really won the points for a cool deck. That's a fun deck. I liked the Morphtronics. It was very cool stuff. Um, but yeah, thank you for playing. That was good. Do you want to make it a best of three? Do you want to play again? Or, um... Or what? What do you fancy? Otherwise, I'll move on to the next person in the list. It does, it does. It was completely pointless in that duel. It's very rare that I can summon that monster in an actual... In a, you know, in a... In an actually useful competitive setting. Um... Okay, we'll make it a best of three. But uh, but it is fun when you get to... Style points are points. Thank you, Bray. I'm glad you agree. And I do find it normally immensely annoying when someone I'm playing against can clearly already win and they faff around playing extra cards that they don't need to play. But I, I, I hope you don't mind me playing that card because it was really cool and it made me really happy. Okay, we're going to go Union Hanger. I'm going to get myself a uh, B Buster Drake. I'm going to summon him. And I'm going to equip him with... I messed that up slightly. It's fine. I'm going to equip him with a Sea Crush Wyvern. And then I'm going to play a Fusion Deployment. And I'm going to get an A Assault Core. And I'm going to pop him. It doesn't matter where I pop him because I'm now going to... No, I'm going to leave him in defense mode. No. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to leave him like that. That works. Happy with that. Oh, and then we're going to... No, we're not going to play that. That's fine. Fine. You'll go. Go for it. Ooh, lightning storm. I like it. What are you going to destroy? Monsters or spells and traps? Spells and traps. Very good. Good choice, sir. Ooh, Morphtronic Radeon. Ooh, I love these cards. Ooh. 
mage power you don't see very often. Right, which one are you going to go for? Buster Drake or Assault Core? Buster Drake it is! Wham bam! Activate his effect. Gonna give myself a. Ah. What do we think? Let's take a. What did I have in my graveyard there? Yeah, let's take another Buster Drake. Okay. We're going to summon the other Buster Drake. And we are going to summon a Union Carrier. Find any of these two traps to the graveyard. Activate both of their effects. I'm gonna have that Buster Drake, please. I'm gonna have the Buster Drake effect to have. Let's take a Dragon Head. What, what am I allowed to summon? Ah, yes, of course. This is the main thing. We're gonna summon... ABC Dragon Buster! And use this effect to get rid of... To discard one copy of Swords of Feeling Light and get rid of your face down card. Gone. Very good. Then we're going to use Union Carrier to equip uh, Union Carrier. No, that was wrong. Misplayed that. Equip Union Carrier with one of these. Then we're going to go a Sword of Revealing Light. Face down card. No attack. So Union Carrier, I only normally see inside the Dragon decks. No one ever actually plays it for its intended purpose of supporting a Union deck. And you can see the uh, the boxes on the back, the crates, the containers, are the same containers from um, Union Hangar. They're the containers that contain the XYZ monsters. So it's pretty cool. Nice sort of synchron... Um, uh, what's the word? Synergy between the cards. We're going to go with Dragon Cannon's effect. Discard. Bust Drake. And get rid of your face down card. Sorry. Then we're going to try Union Scramble. See if it works this time. Yes, all three of them, please. My dragon head. Union carrier, because I can do it again! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just I would really like I really like playing this card. I can't believe I get to do it twice in one du in um in two duels. Ugh, ugh, we get some other thing. And then we can make them do the heckin' combine! Because I'm in the big scary dragon of death. And then we can attack with the big scary dragon of death. 
And then we can split him back up into his constituent parts. He combines and then he separates. And then, and then I can attack again. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you very happy. Thank you for playing, Bob. I do like your Morphtronics. It was a very cool idea for a deck. I'm sorry you didn't get to sort of get up to speed with them. But thank you for playing. That was fun. Okay, Tress. Should we go, should we go a match, Tress? And then call it a day there? What deck are you going to play, Tress? Are you going to play a fun deck? Or like, as in, as in, is it going to be like a... Do you, basically, in terms of what I should play, are we going for like, not very good, but fun deck? Or like, fun, but competitive, more competitive, kind of? What are we, what are we after? Oh, you're going with your gamble, with your really cool gamble deck. Ooh. That was fiendish before. What should I put against a really cool gamble deck? Um... Well, the gamble deck is pretty competitive, isn't it? Let's go with... Uh... Let's do Sacred Beasts. Or oh, did we do Sacred Beasts before? Did I play Sacred Beasts against your gamble deck before? Well, that might be repetitive if I did. Oh, I used the ABC deck before. Okay, cool. I love your gamble deck so much. It's such a cool idea for a deck. I haven't built my own yet because I haven't got the gems, the crafting points for it. Um, but I totally will because it's such a cool idea. Do you run Lucky Chance? So you get draw power from your gambles. No, you don't. Okay. Why not? Does it just not... Is it not that useful? Not enough single coin monster effects in a deck. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because it's quite a specific condition, isn't it? Do the Dark Sanctuary. I remember you playing this before and we thought you were playing a Spirit Message deck. I kind of want to build a Spirit Message deck now. The Destiny board, knowing that this card exists. You know, knowing that there's support for it now. I think that's quite fun. Anyway, right. Okay. I don't like your face down card. What are we going to do? We're going to go Dark Beckoning Beast. This is like a permanent half um, magic cylinder. Right, which one do we want? We want... Mm, I'm going to take a... Opening of the Spirit Gates. You're working on a Destiny board deck. Cool. I'm going to play the Opening of the Spirit Gates. To give me a Chaos Summoning Beast. Then we're going to play Fallen Paradise. We are going to summon Chaos Summoning Beast. We're going to send it straight to the graveyard to summon Big Boy Revile Lord of Phantasms. Which is my shiny, shiny rare card. Makes me very happy. And we can go Fallen Paradise again. We'll use its effect. Get me two more cards. Play one face down. Then uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack, I think. And you get to do your flippy flippy. Ooh! 
When an opponent's monster players attack, you can toss a card. If it results three heads, draw three cards. Oh yeah, this this thing. If this face-up card in the field is destroyed, you lose six thousand life points. It's quite a, quite a risky risky stratagem. Right, this thing. Is that gonna hit me? No, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're in business. Very nice. Right, main phase two. It's my favorite phase. We're gonna send. We're gonna discard. Dark Summoning Beast. In order to special summon Dark Summoning Beast. Love opening the spirit gates. Then we're gonna sacrifice Dark Summoning Beast in order to summon from our deck. Absolutely nothing because you've got Ash Blossom. Okay, Fabuloso. Very nice. How come you didn't use your Ash Blossom when I was getting my cards when I was using Dark Beckoning Beast? I guess you were holding out for me, playing one of those. Fair enough. Right, okay. Uh, I'm now going to... No, I won't do anything there. I'm going to play one card face down. And that'll do. Yeah, the worst thing that happens, of course, is when you use Ash straight away. As, as you say, and then, um, and then, you know, if you'd used it on my Dark Beckoning Beast, and then I had some other way of playing my Dark Summoning Beast, you'd then have... Just, you know, then then you would have thought, oh, I wish I'd saved it for then, because then you could have, you know, caused me more grief. As it happened, if you'd played Ash and my Dark Beckoning Beast, that would have completely ruined my combo. I couldn't have played anything this turn. If you'd negated Dark Beckoning Beast, that would be the only card I had out. But you want to know that, right? You don't know what I've got in my hand, necessarily. Oh no, to be fair, if you'd negated Dark Beckoning Beast, I could have then sacrificed it to summon um, Dark Summoning Beast still. Whoa, Time Wizard! Oh, I never see Time Wizard! I think you may have slightly miscalculated this, though. Because Fallen Paradise protects Revile. Which I don't think you were expecting. But it was a very good, very cool card. I love Time Wizard. I never see Time Wizard. Oh, uh, what? So there's the new retooled Time Wizard, right? There's Time Wizard, Wizard of Tomorrow. Which, as far as I can tell, seems to have the same effect as the OG Time Wizard. I can't really tell the difference between them. Am I missing something there? Is there something about Time Wizard of Tomorrow that makes it better than OG Time Wizard? Anyway, you think I need to get past your Dark Sanctuary, but you're wrong. Reasons I'm about to disclose. We are gonna go... This thing. Time Wizard does have PAL energy, yeah. Get rid of Uriah in order to summon my Dark Summoning Beast. I'm going to sacrifice Dark Summoning Beast because I'm not going to attack you this turn. So never fear. To summon a Haymon. I'm going to play Dark Beckoning Beast. Give me... Let's take another Haymon. I'm going to remove from play my Dark Summoning Beast. To take another Revile. Can you see where I'm going with this? Because then we're going to go Dimension Fusion Destruction! To summon... This dude! Which I give to you as a gift. A nice present. Lucky you. And then we end. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I did it again. I did this last time on stream. Because I have two different sacred beasts. His effect doesn't activate. Because I've got Awakening of the Sacred Beast. Oh, I am such a first-class fool. 
Oh. oh. Big stupid. I was gonna clear the field. Bamboos. It was a self bamboozle. Those are rare. Right, what have you got now? Desperado Barrel Dragon. I've never seen this one before. If a face-up... It's like a cowboy version. Face-up Dark Machine once you control drop a battle card effect. You special those cards effect once per turn during the battle phase. You toss a coin three times. Destroy face-up monsters on the field up to the number of heads. And then if the result was three heads, draw one card. Obviously, you can't activate its effect because of my card. But, um... That's very cool! Right, give me more cards. Okie dokie. What can we do here? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Nothing because I removed that from play like a fool. Ah, but we can't do this. Let's see if this helps the sitch. Okay, I'm feeling lucky. Let's let's um use revile. Activate his effect. Eat the phantasm token. Switch that to the phantasm. We are going to try. What happens if I do that? You destroy it. You draw three cards. Oh, that's fine. Okay, right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Uh, no. That one can go ahead. Oh, you get cards. That's nice for you. But now, uh... Oh, I'm an idiot. I did it the wrong way around. Oh, it's fine. Go on. What happens? Heads. That's fine. I can take the life point damage. That works. Let's try this one. Use Cerulean Skyfire to negate that. Beep. Custard is hunting frogs. Bless him. Oh. He tries his best. Oh, what have you got now? You got another one of these gambly things. Oh, that was cool. Right, okay. That's all I've got at the moment. So I will hand over there. Ooh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Very nice. Devastating. That was very satisfying, clearing all those out of the way. Oh, and Raigeki! Oh, he just wiped me! Oh, I love it. The music is very thrilling, isn't it? Right, what does this do? Oh, that negates everything! If you get two heads, we can't have that. Right, what can we do here? What what do we got? What do we got in our graveyard? We got one of these. Can you give me one of those. Oh no, because you're gonna do that. I forgot about that. Oh, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll take one of those. Uh, I'm gonna do one of. Hmm. I'll allow it. For now. Okay. We're going to roll with this. I've messed this all up so much, this duel. <laughs> that lucky punch is so risky. If this face-up card on the field is destroyed, you lose 6,000 life points. You lose the duel if that goes. Right, you're going to attack me. Well, I'm going to play Ordeal of a Traveller.
Pick a card, any card, any, any card. What card is that? It was not a monster card, it was a spell. Let's go again. What do you think that is? Also a spell. Well played, well played, very good. Very good, very strong. Right, what do we got next? What do I got? What am I gonna draw? Let's see. It is a one of these! Can't really do anything with that. Just at the moment. So that's fine. Um, what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna activate a, what, that. I'm gonna activate that. And then you're gonna do your thing, that's fine. Doesn't matter. And then we are going to end. Yeah, we'll end there. Ah, you summoned him again. Oh dear, look at the traveler. Flippy flippy. That's really not working out for you, is it? Right, pick a card, any card. No! Hello, Governor Ryder Groves. How you doing, London taxi? Half a pint of milk, please, Governor. Fish and chips. Bangers and mash. Toad in the owl. Cup of tea. God save the queen. Okay. I'm going to play this face down. Right, what's this? Oh, Proton Blast. I hate this one. That is going to be really upsetting. Ooh, hello. What do you do? Twin Barrel Dragon. Ha, it was not. But you get that instead. Oh dear, love the traveller. I love this card so much. Can I say bottle of water? All British like. Well, which kind of British would you like? I can do you, you know, um, I can do RP British. Bottle of water. Or you can have a bottle of water. You want a bottle of water, mate? Bottle of water. A bottle of water. Water. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Right. Let's see if I can get away with this. Head judging. I can't remember what this does. When a monster in the field activates effect, you can make that thing. Oh, I haven't. Oh, what? I didn't. Oh, okay. If they call it right, send this card to the graveyard. If they call it wrong, negate that effect activation and change control of that monster to their opponent. Is this only once per turn? No? Okay. Oh, yes, you can. It is once per turn. Right. Go on, then. Heads. Yes. Right. Give me Haymon. More cards, please. Hoppy's Feather Duster! Biff! Did it! Good game, Tress. I enjoyed that. It's a really cool deck you've got there. Do you want to make it a best of three? Cool. Let's do it. And uh, depending on which one of us wins, this will either be the final duel of the day or the second to last. You know, either the ultimate or the penultimate. Oh, it went stuttery, did it? What kind of stuttery? Like bad internet connection stuttery or like um, frame rate stuttery? Is it okay now?
Okay, well that might be the graphics card thing. Oh yeah, the frame rate is no good. Okay, let's switch the graphics card mode back to profile one. Right, you've got second coin toss. That is a nasty combination with Dark Sanctuary. We're going to go opening of the spirit gates. Please give me a Dark Beckoning Beast. Which I'm going to play. If you please. Are you going to Ash Blossom me? You're not. Good stuff. That's what I like. Uh, give me a Cerulean Skyfire. Then I'm going to Chaos Summoning Beast. Well, hopefully the stutters should be gone now. The fan will be a little bit louder in the background, but um, can live with it. Uh, we're gonna have a Haymon. Gonna banish summoning beast. Give myself a fallen paradise. Play the fallen paradise. Draw two copies of the Fallen Par- well, you draw two cards, Fallen Paradise. That's nice, that's not bad, that's not bad. Gonna do a Cerulean Skyfire. Gonna go Awakening of the Sacred- uh, I mean, I mean, a trap card face down. Who knows what it is. Um, and let's try our luck with uh, Dark Sanctuary. Oh, you've got all this stuff going on. No, that's fine. Let's just do it. Did I win? Is that what we wanted? No, that's what you wanted. Ow. Nasty. Okay, fine. Over to you. Oh, I love it, Bray. I'm pleased you're a fan. Oh, well, that could be a fan of her. Nothing, though. Not necessarily a fan of me. But still, good pun. I am a fan of the pun. Ooh, Time Wizard! We're gonna do this again. Let's do it. Ah, uh, alas, Tails. Oh, but you gotta go again! Oh, still tails. How was your luck? Bad luck, Tress. The odds were not in your favor. More cards. I love that I get to draw three cards a turn with this. You can't win them all. No, you win some, you lose some. Let's go. Chaos Summoning Beast. Summon Revile Lord of Phantasms. Okay. That'll do. We're gonna go Haymon first. Haymon, don't make it bad. Ooh, okay. I'll take the hit. Okay, we're gonna go Revile. You're going to do that. I'm going to up the ante. We're going to go Shimmering Scraper. We're going to double our attack points. But I'm going to Cerulean Skyfire your Dark Zone Tree because I do not like the odds of that. I don't know one. I would have loved to have... Uh, to have let that play out and uh, flipped the coin and seen which one of us lost, but I'm, I'm not I'm not brave enough to gamble that. Oh, good game, Tress. Well played. That was cool. Thank you for playing, everyone. I think we're gonna leave it there for the day. 
So thank you all for watching. I will be back on Thursday for a modding workshop stream. And straight after the stream, we will probably be launch doing the premiere for the uh, for Colin's YouTube interview. So do tune in then, and we can all sort of kind of raid Colin's premiere, sort of as a non-official raid. Let's go over and do that. So we're going to do that, and it's going to be fun. Um, so do tune in then. Uh, see you on Thursday. Look after yourselves. Have a lovely few days. And uh, yeah.